How's it going everyone? Today's question comes from Larry on LinkedIn. Of the new and older platforms available for digital marketing, what are your top two choices? I don't have favorites. In my personal life, I dislike Facebook. I try to avoid it. <laughs> I do tune in there for groups and for conversations in groups. I like LinkedIn for professional purposes and I spend quite a bit of time on LinkedIn. Um, I love Twitter for entertainment value and Instagram as well. I would say that I am connected on Instagram with more of my closest friends and I love watching videos on there. But I would say that YouTube is the place where I consume the most content. So you'll find me there the most as well as these videos. So check it out, subscribe, give some thumbs up. For marketing purposes, so for my clients, it really depends on the nature of the business and where their target audiences are. We've seen significant success for B2C companies on Instagram with advertising, particularly Instagram stories. By far the highest return on ad spend that we've seen in the past couple of years comes from Instagram stories. The audience is not as big. So the reach is not gonna be as big. So you're not gonna get a huge volume of sales there, but the return for ad spend is way and above every other social network or even Google advertising. I do still advise and like Google advertising for a lot of brands. It can work very well in, in particular industries. We've seen it work well in the food space, for example. For B2B companies, I am a strong believer of using LinkedIn the right way. So we work with executives and help them coach them on how to use LinkedIn, how to do sales outreach, or we do parts of that on their behalf. But I truly believe that every executive or every salesperson or director of sales should have a presence there. And in fact, for most companies, I advise that all of the leadership should be on LinkedIn, as many of the employees as possible, and everybody should come together to help boost the content for their brand. But I do believe that also a sales approach, a social selling approach on LinkedIn is really important in the B2B space. So get your sales navigator on, start doing some outreach. I also am a huge believer in being authentic and genuine. So we can help our executive clients up to a point after which they need to come in and be a part of a conversation, bring in their thoughts, their thought leadership, their perspectives, what makes them put sweat, blood and tears into their businesses. That needs to come across from them. We can help with things like research and editing and even doing some of the outreach. But when it comes to actually diving deep into a conversation, um, putting out some like strong brand focused commentary, it has to come directly from them. So it requires some work because social media is not as easy as a lot of people think. So I hope you found this useful. If you want additional information about this or have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Give it a thumbs, up. <laughs> thumbs up. Follow me on any social network at Manamika, M-A-N-A-M-I-C-A, and I will see you back here next time.